Hey, hey, welcome back to All About That Disney Life. I am Danny B, the girl who is all about that Disney life. We now move on to James and the Giant Peach, which came out in 1996, so let's get to know this cast. Paul Terry was James Henry Trotter. Miriam Margols was Aunt Sponge. Joanna Lumpley was Aunt Spiker. Pete Pulsolf White was the narrator and the magic man. Stephen Culp was James's father. Susan Turner Cray was James's mother. Mike Starr was the B cop. Simon Callow was Mr. Grasshopper. Richard Dreyfus was Mr. Centipede's talking voice. And Jeff Bennett provided the singing voice for the centipede. Jane Leaves was Mrs. Ladybug. Suzanne Sarandon was Miss Spider. David Fluis was Mr. Earthworm, and Miriam Margolis was Mrs. Glowworm. Now we move on to the facts all about James and the Giant Peach. Number one, Joe Ranf tried to convince the staff at Walt Disney Animation Studios in the early 1980s to produce a movie based on Ronald Dahl's 1961 book, James and the Giant Peach. Disney Studios refused for reasons of a potentially expensive and difficult animation process and the source material's weird subject matter. Really? Again, this is a weird storyline? Henry Selleck also enjoyed the book and thought about making a movie version for years, but he understood the challenges if he did so, such as the sources, materials, dreamy nature, episodic structure, and the reputation of other doll books being so inappropriate that some parts of the world have banned his books. Felicity Dahl, that's the author's widow, and also the executor of his estate, began offering film rights to the book in the summer of 1992, among those interested were Steven Spielberg and Danny DeVito. Walt Disney Pictures got the film rights to the book from the Doll Estate in 1992. Number two, the writing. Dennis Potter was hired to write a draft, but Potter soon died after that. And Carrie Kirkpatrick and Bruce Joel Rubin came in to write separate drafts, and Kirkpatrick's was the one that was chosen. Unlike the book, James's aunts are not killed by the Rolling Peach, but they follow him to New York City. The character Silkworm was removed to not overload on the amount of characters to animate. In the book, her purpose was to limit to what Miss Spider did in the movie, which was to attach the peach to several seagulls during the shark chase. Number three, a decision. Disney and Selleck debated on whether the movie should be live action or stop motion animated. Selleck had originally planned James to be a live actor through the entire movie, then later considered doing the whole movie in stop motion. He settled on entirely live action and entirely stop motion sequences to keep lower costs. The movie begins with 20 minutes of live action but becomes stop motion animation after James enters the peach and then live action again when James arrives in New York City. Like The Wizard of Oz, the color palette changes when James enters the peach to indicate he has entered a magical setting. Number four, the filming. Filming began on November 15th, 1994 with the live action scenes wrapping up on December 27th of that year. The stop motion scenes continued until January 19th of 1996. Number five, the release. This movie released theatrically on April 12th, 1996. Disney released the movie worldwide except for a few countries in Europe, including the United Kingdom, where Pathé handled distribution and sold the rights to independent companies. Number six, the box office. This movie opened at the number two spot at the box office, missing out on the top spot to Premier Fear. The movie made over $7 million that weekend and stayed in the top 10 for the next five weeks before dropping to 11th place. The movie went on to make over $28 million domestically, bringing its worldwide total to over $28 million, which against a budget of $38 million made the movie a commercially box office bomb. Number seven, the awards. At the Kansas City Film Critics Circle Awards, this movie won for Best Animated Film. At the ANSI International Animated Film Festival, this movie won Best Animated Feature Film. At the Dallas-Fort Worth Film Critics Associations, this movie won for Best Animated Film. And at the Young Artist Awards, this movie won for Best Family Feature for Animation or Special Effects. Number eight, bonus facts. In the pirate ship scene, Mr. Centipede calls out Skellington upon spotting a skeleton that looks like Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas with a beard and pirate gear. Upon finding a compass moments later, he calls out again jackpot, referring back to the jack skeleton. Another one of the skeletons has the bill, sailor's cap, sailor's jacket, and the voice of Donald Duck. When Grasshopper says, you sir are an ass to Mr. Centipede, the captions mistake the line as, well, you know. When Cartoon Network aired this, they censored the part and they replaced it with pendant to make it more children appropriate. This was the first Disney animated film in general to include a post-credit scene 
And this was the second Disney animated film in general to be rated PG by the MPAA after Disney's 1985 The Black Cauldron. And that is it for James and the Giant Peach. If you like this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and I hope you have a zippity doo da day. Goodbye.